Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. Recently, Waves released the CLA Epic plugin, which emulates the Chris Lord Algae workflow of mixing with four different delays and four different reverbs for mixing with depth. And it gives a lot of interesting and creative possibilities for combining the delays and reverbs in different ways. It's set up with four delays here, four reverbs. We customize each one by clicking on them. And we have a routing panel where we can route the delays to any of the reverbs. And it makes for an interesting workflow. And in this video, I want to show you how we can set up a routing like this in Logic Pro directly without the plugin and get an even more flexible setup with this style of routing, but on a more elaborate scale. So I have an empty project here with one audio track and one instrument track. And I'm going to select them both. And in the sends field, I'm going to start by setting up a bus routing. I'm going to choose to start at bus nine, but of course you can start anywhere you want. And there's the first aux track that it's created. And I'm going to just stereoize it. And I'm going to repeat this and create eight sends and stereoize these. So let me just do that real quick. So there they are, and I'm going to double click the name of the first one and name it and just tab to the next one and name them all. And now reverbs. So now I can send from either of these tracks. We'll create multiple audio and instrument tracks in a few minutes with this same setup. But I can send from either of these to any of the delays and any of the reverbs. Now on the four delays, I want to set up sends to the reverbs, which start at bus 13. So I'm going to click here and assign sends to go to the reverbs. And again, let me just go through these pretty quickly. There we go. Now, this is the basic setup of CLA Epic, but what if we want to send from the reverbs to the delays, which is not that common, but hey, let's get creative or at least set ourselves up to be creative if we want. So I'm going to start here and go to bus nine and then set them up to all the four delay sends or delay returns rather. So there we go. Now, the next step is to populate these returns with the actual insert effects. So what I'm going to do is on the delay, I'm going to get in here and call up one of Logic's delays. Now, of course, we have the freedom to set up any third-party delay. It doesn't have to be Logic's, and we can set them, of course, and the idea is to set them all to unique values. But let me create, let's say, a different delay here. Let me use a sample delay with a really tight delay setup there. And I'll just populate these quickly with different delays. Now, what I'm going to do is move these down one insert slot so that I have the option to set up some processing before the delays. And of course, I can put processing after the delays too, which is more flexible than the all-in-one CLA Epic plugin. So we have greater kind of expandability with this setup. And I'm setting this up pretty quickly, but the idea, of course, is to customize these values to whatever you want. And you can even set up some alternate plugins in here. Maybe I want to go to some third-party ones like I have set up over here. and create some alternate ones and just mute them and have them in place ready in case I want to use these on some different mixes. They can be in my template muted and ready to go. So let me just set a couple of these up. And now the idea is to do the same thing with reverbs, where of course we can use any combination of Logic's reverbs or third-party reverbs. And the idea of course is to use different settings with different size spaces that you might want. I'm just choosing one at random here. So let me populate this really quickly just to give you an idea. And same thing here, we can use some third-party reverbs and just leave them in place muted if we want. And while we're here, why not set up some processing in place for post and or pre. So I can start by maybe some channel EQs. And I'll just mute those. And maybe after I can put in a compressor. And again, you can customize this however you want, but these are just some ideas to get you started. And I'm going to leave them muted to begin with. So there's a basic setup. Let me deselect. And here, I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. And of course, you do it as many times as you want to 
I'm going to set up a template, but I'll just do four of each for now. And they all have the same routings. And then once you've got all the reverbs and delays and the other settings set at initial starting points that are good for you, go under File, Save as Template, and you can save it into your Project Templates folder so it'll be available for future projects. Here's a simple guitar loop set up with sends going to all of these for a nice, complex, dense set of reverbs and delays. Here's the dry signal. Here's the first delay. Second one, the nice tight sample delay to stereoize it. Third delay, stereo delay with different values on each side. And a nice effect and delay designer after that. Reverb. Space designer, small room and chroma verb, just do the reverbs. The third one, and the fourth for a more complex set of reflections. So that's a pretty basic idea. And what I can do is mute the reverb sense here. And if I want, I can send from the delays, like maybe this tight sample delay, I want to send that to the space designer. And maybe this longer delay send to the end verb. And send this to the chroma verb. And also send some of the dry signal. So you can see there's a lot of routing possibilities and we haven't even gotten into processing the returns with delays or compressors or modulation or other style effects. So that's a little idea to get you started on this CLA Epic style routing within Logic. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert.